I wanted to say a little bit about the father, Nathan, and what he represents in the novel. Um, he is a Baptist missionary, um, and in this novel, King Salva represents both a positive and a negative representation of Christian charity and Christian uh, missions. Nathan represents the negative impression, and Brother Fowles, who we haven't met yet, represents a positive representation. And we do know, <laughs> if you study any history, you do know that um, there have been great atrocities committed in the name of Christianity, uh, slavery being one of them. And we've seen the measure of that atrocity. And if you read, I talked about the pro-slavery argument with Beloved. If you read the pro-slavery argument, there was a lot of justifying that act um, using the Bible. And um, so, and, and we could make a long list of some of the, of the atrocities that people have committed in the name of Christianity. And so we can't discount that abuse of Christian faith and Christian gospel um, because, because we don't like it, because it's the reality of history. And so King Solver's using that, but she also offers a really positive representation of Christian faith um, through Brother Faust. So I want us to certainly recognize that there is a balance there. Um, but I will concede that I don't think King Solver, Nathan is a Baptist missionary. I don't think King Solver has a good understanding of Baptist denominational ideas. I don't think she has a good understanding of the theology of Baptists. Um, and I'm not sure she studied the theology of Baptists. It, she may have just chosen that because it's a, these are Southerners, it's a popular faith in the South, um, a popular denominational affiliation. So, but we do, she is trying to represent, um, using Nathan, she is trying to represent a way of thinking that shows, that, that um, demonstrates a sense of privilege, uh, that comes from being white and male. And so he thinks that he is superior to the Africans to whom he's there to minister. Um, and he also thinks that he is superior to his wife and daughters. Um, and he doesn't respect them. He doesn't respect their, um, their will, their desire to, to you know, have their own lives. Um, and even Ada, Ada says this, Ada sees it more clearly than any of the other characters. She says, she calls him our father. And she said, he speaks for all of us as far as I can tell. And what she's saying there is that he has decided that he is the center of the family and his voice is the only voice that matters. Um, that his will is the only will that matters and that his wife and his daughters have to defer to him. And then of course, we'll see it in all of his interactions. And I talked about this in the last video, in all his interactions with the villagers, we'll see that um, inclination that he has to think that he knows best and that what he wants um, and is there to teach them is not only far superior, but the only thing that's relevant and that he has nothing to learn from them. One of the things that King Solver does in, okay, she uses this idea in literature. In literature, we've talked about this just a little bit, but in literature, disability usually has a particular purpose. Um, and blindness has a particular purpose. And so blindness usually represents one of two things in literature. It either represents a seer, someone who has, who could be like a fortune teller or a prophet. Um, so that is one thing that we see. The other thing that blindness represents, often represents, is cultural blindness. Someone who um, is so short-sighted that they can't see basically what's in front of them. They have decided that their cultural perspective is the only one that's relevant. Nobody else has anything to teach them. Um, 
and so they can't really see beyond their own experience. Nathan is blind in one eye. Um, and she's using that blindness to represent the fact that Nathan just can't see past the end of his own nose. Um, he can't see the beauty of the culture around him. He can't see the intellect of his daughters. He can't see the intellect or the value of tradition among the villagers. He's just so metaphorically nearsighted um, that he kind of walks around blind to everything around him. And King Solver represents that with his blind eye. It's a very simplistic use of blindness. And we, we can talk about disability more um, because she uses disability in, in a lot of different ways. Ada, for instance, we, we'll talk about that as we get to know her better. Um, she uses it in a lot of different ways. But as we read the section on Nathan, um, he is there to represent a particular way of thinking, the kind of thinking that led to the colonization of Africa um, and the kind of thinking that um, reflected, that, that restricted women's opportunities. Um, and so just read him as a metaphor for a way of thinking. Okay.